right now I'm just uh, my name is Dale Medeiros I'm from Austin Texas I'm sitting in my truck I drive a truck for a living uh, I'm just trying to make a video right now it's my first video ever making so and I'm trying to be a well I am a comedian you know what I'm saying I, I, I like to tell jokes and say funny shit all the time and uh, so this is my first shot at something for myself to try to put out and I'm gonna give this to my friends just to see what they think but my first topic of the day is I'm giving the crown back to light-skinned niggas because it seems that dark-skinned niggas they're falling off maybe because I'm seeing so many dark-skinned gays that I'm giving I'm claiming the crown back first of all for light-skinned niggas and I don't care how many niggas uh, disagree with this? This is just my opinion because I've heard all these comedians from Kevin Hart all the way through Mike Epps and from looking at uh, and then TK Kirkland. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, so this is mine. That's my first fucking thing to say, you know. And I've learned from these guys because you can't hate on people that you don't know because they're gonna help you along the way. And that's what I've, you know, being that I'm broke and not broke, but being that I don't have any money, big money. I was tending to be mad, and I learned a lot from T.K. Kirkland, because at first, you know, I had to say that his jokes were making me mad, because I'm married, and I wasn't getting that much pussy, and every time I hear him talking, this nigga talking about getting big, you know, pussy, and how to do this, and how to do that, are you eating pussy, and all that, but when I got married, man, everything fucking stopped, you know, the next motherfucking day, so I'm trying to figure out how to get my swag back with my marriage and you know and what he's saying is, is so right so you know i'm paying attention to this dude and uh, i'm learning a lot and hopefully i'll yeah, that's another story right there you know what i'm saying me and my wife on a you know uh journey in our marriage you know because of marriage is, is work man marriage is hard and you know we four and a half years in the game so that's another topic right there but uh you know, I just want to say that, uh, for one thing, trying to be an up and becoming a comedian is very hard because you don't know what the fuck to say when you get on these videos and shit. And, uh, I don't even know if I'm motherfucking funny and shit, but I'm going to try. You know what I'm saying? If I ever do get my shot, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think a lot of niggas ain't even funny. I just be listening to their shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I like them. Like, Mike Epps is fucking funny. But then I, it was a period where I thought Mike Epps wasn't funny. A lot of people don't think Kevin Hart is funny. I didn't think Kevin Hart is funny until I watched this movie. I think he's better comedian. He's a better actor than he is a comedian. But he's also a good comedian at times. So, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the thing that I want to also touch on is that uh i see a lot of hating going on and shit you know you go to i drive in a truck i go a lot of different places and you know i don't understand a lot of shit i don't understand you know the dress code that's going on and shit i'm from the old school man what's up with these motherfuckers niggas with these tight ass pants on first of all can we can we can we can we get people to you know the pants and then you got you know i don't understand the whole shit you got niggas wearing tight pants then you got niggas wearing when big pants that they they gotta walk with their legs all open and shit and trying to hold the motherfuckers up and then you got niggas that can't walk at all because the pants too motherfucking tight so i'm confused like a motherfucker i'm just saying yeah i cuss a lot but i'm just saying you know it's some confusing shit when you're 53 and you see this shit you're like this nigga got i don't you know i don't have enough time in the day to try to hold my goddamn pants up dog i'm just saying you know what i'm saying yeah and i'm just wondering is it me or you know what i'm saying is this some real shit that i'm tripping on you know <laughs> I don't know. you got all these motherfuckers and shit man trying to be some shit that they ain't well that was my life for a long time i tried to be a lot of shit that i wasn't don't motherfucking get caught up in that because it'll fuck you up you know what i'm saying you'd be trying to be a drug dealer knowing good and well you ain't no motherfucking drug dealer you know that was my thing i was trying to be a drug dealer got busted <laughs> and you got to go through the whole jail thing where they strip search you and shit the humanize your ass, demoralize your ass, and then you, you come out fucked up from that, so you know what I'm saying, I'm just telling people, be who you are, meant to be, you know what I'm saying, and that takes time, because you gotta figure that shit out, so this show is some science behind this whole life thing, you know what I'm saying, don't just be a motherfucker who go outside and 
ooh, okay, today, yesterday I was a drug dealer. I said, that nigga over there look like he got something going with the basketball. Today I'm a big basketball player. Really sit down, motherfucking, and try to figure out who you're going to be. You know what I'm saying? Before you just go out there and make a whole bunch of motherfucking mistakes, like Pac said, knocking your head up against the wall and shit to learn a lot of shit. You end up with knots all over your motherfucking head and shit. You know what I'm saying? And worrying and be bald headed and shit. I don't even think black folks meant to be bald headed. That might be some shit that they done put in our motherfucking food. Seeing like every all these motherfucking body. I was growing my hair for a minute and shit because I start and my shit. If you ever seen my shit grow, it go crazy. My my wife just finally said, "Baby, don't come on with that shit. Cut that shit up." I said, "Cause my shit was growing all on the side and shit, and not up here and shit." It was some good hair. I got some good hair, but the shit just don't grow all over the place. So my wife was like, baby, don't come home with that no more. She finally just broke in and, 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 and had to tell me and shit. But I was just bent on getting a goddamn ponytail and shit and looking like a motherfucking... It's some shit that was in my mind how I was supposed to look with hair and shit, but the shit didn't work out right, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up cutting that shit off. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of people poking at, at, at Kevin Hart, man. You know what I'm saying? And... I mean, I guess at the top, you're going to get poked at. But I also see Kevin Hart, like, getting mad about the shit. And I can tell he's mad, you know. And I'd be mad, too, I guess, a little bit. Because I know I have ch used to have a chip on my shoulder. Maybe I still got a little one there, you know what I'm saying. But everybody does, you know what I'm saying. And, and you know, I, shit, I'll just be honest, you know what I'm saying. I had a lot of fights. I got beat up a lot when I was coming up. I had to learn how to fight. So, you know, you have you grow up. And as you get older, you're going to have chips in, you know, on your shoulder. And you're going to have grudges and all that type of shit. But I see Kevin Hart maybe having a short man thing going on. And, uh, you know, and it is what it is. He's at the top. He's going to get poked at. You know what I'm saying? But I see people also like Mike Epps. I didn't really feel like Mike Epps' video. He was uh, trying to demoralize Kevin or make him mad in any type. Well, I really think Mike Epps was serious about bringing him on trying to make this movie Richard Pryor if he ever gets that off I'd like to see it you know what I'm saying I really enjoyed uh, Dolomite with Eddie Murphy and and, and, and and Mike Epps in there I think that shit was the bomb it was a good ass movie and shit I love a good movie and that was a good one right there for real man I'm gonna watch it again but uh, they're taking shots at Kevin Hart I see a lot of people taking shots at Kevin Hart because he's making a whole bunch of money you know, I, mean, I didn't really think Kevin Hart was funny. So I watched his movie, The Upside, and then I thought he was fucking good in that movie. And the fucked up part about it, his name was Dale. And <laughs> my name is fucking Dale. I was mad at my mama for naming me. I couldn't figure out why the fuck my mama named me Dale for the life of me until I did some family research and really realized my mother took some time in naming me Dale. And I thank her for that. Mom, I love you, R.I.P. And all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, she really named me after my uncle Dale, who was a truck driver like me. I'm a third generation truck driver, so you know, this is not something that I've just I've been doing this since the army. I, I went to the army with a, a, a buddy, partner of mine by the name of uh, I'm not gonna give out his name, but we went to the army together, and that's where I first learned how to drive a truck. So, this is not something that was in '87. This is not something that I just got into. I'm fucking good at this shit i think i've got to be good at your craft this is my craft i'm trying to hone horn this to get me where i need to get in comedy but uh i'm also i'm also trying to write a book uh it's not gonna be typically all the way about my uh life so to speak i'm i don't know if i'm gonna come with a short story or my maybe it will be a story about my life i got a lot to say Maybe some people will be interested in, in hearing that shit, you know what I'm saying? But I would just like to be a comedian, man, because I ain't really wrote no material yet, but I'm going to get to that too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, that's another day. A while ago, I just had a thought about I have to uh, write some material because something keeps telling me not to, but I need something just told me. Quit saying not to. You need to write something and, and get you a format you know get a style I gotta get a style of comedian and uh like I say it's a lot of funny shit I see out here in this world going on and shit the women fucking looking harder than the men they got the men looking like punks you know wearing uh I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend nobody punks or whatever but it is what it is you know they're making the men look like fucking flowers and making the women look like uh fucking uh macho women and shit they're looking stronger than the, than, than the men hell man the trucker truckers are some of the craziest motherfuckers you ever gonna meet in your life man this is everybody's bad everybody's big tough trucker and shit you gotta walk around 
this motherfucker here gonna try to jump me today or what? What is this motherfucker? Everybody wanna be first and shit, you know, and everybody's tough. So you gotta watch yourself and there's a lot of women doing this. They look tough than a motherfucker. I don't even know if they women. I'm gonna have to go through a throat check, you know, hit a motherfucking bitch in the throat. Bam, is that a motherfucking uh whatever that thing is called right here? And just hit her right there, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure she's a woman, cause a lot of these motherfuckers look tough than a motherfucker, so gotta make sure they there ain't no man out of the way and shit. I don't want to meet none. I'm glad I'm married and shit. Because, man, these motherfuckers, what I, hear, what I hear going on and shit, all these motherfuckers sleeping with transvestite. Man, you know that's a transvestite before you motherfucking slept with him. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? If he was Richard Pryor on some crack and they told me he woke up with a transvestite and he kept on going back. That motherfucking nigga knew he was with a transvestite. I used to be on drugs and shit. And, and, and all that. I did my thing with all that bullshit. And... And I ain't never fucking with no motherfucking transvestite and shit. But drugs make you think some crazy motherfucking shit, especially crack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it, so ain't no telling what Rich Pryor was going through or whatever. And I done heard. So you can say what you want to about me. I'm just being honest with you. I done tried a lot of shit. I don't care what you say about me. You know, it's about uh, uh, what about you? You know what I'm saying? At least I can be honest about me. You know what I'm saying? But you do a lot of crazy shit and I ain't never suck no dick. You know what I'm saying? For no motherfucking crack. But they say motherfuckers get on crack and they'll suck some dick. I hear that a lot out there, but I don't give a fuck. You know, fuck you. I don't suck no motherfucking dick, but I have motherfucking fell off on some crack and shit. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm back cracking like Whitney used to say, crack is whack. But, you know, look what happened to her. You know what I'm saying? So, see a lot of people out here, you know, fronting and shit and uh, trying to be rappers. And a lot of these motherfucking rappers are stupid than a motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? They just be saying a bunch of dumb ass shit. One girl got a rap out, and she say that nigga don't mind getting mine. Uh, she don't. He don't mind when I call him a trick. You know, this is some of the funniest shit I hear. You know, so I be telling my nephew, nigga, if you can't come up with something and make a motherfucking at least sell fifty thousand copies, goddamn, they just saying any goddamn thing and shit. This bitch on telling me she's a pimp and her her nigga. He don't get mind getting called a trick. Put you, put my name on your on your bank account because I don't like waiting for my money. Man, fuck that shit. I used to try to be a pimp too. I thought I was a pimp until I met bad a uh, bitch that was that was uh, a badass hoe, a renegade or whatever you want to call her. That bitch turned me. I was a simp by the time it was over with. So you can claim pimp. I hear motherfucking Cat Williams a lot. And I mean, it's the funniest shit, man, because Cat, he's a short motherfucker. But that motherfucker loved it. And everybody loved talking about getting pussy in. Are you getting pussy in? Are you eating pussy? And I hear a lot of motherfuckers. I done had a lot of goddamn pussy in my time and shit. And I hear Cat Williams talking about shit I was doing back when I was a kid and shit. Motherfucking me. Uh, shit he talking about doing jerking out before you go get the pussy. Nigga, I was doing that shit when I was in motherfucking... Uh, motherfucking uh, uh, shit I was a late bloomer 17 but shit once I learned how to fuck I learned that that first nut you gotta get that one out the way so you can cause I used to like fuck for a long time you know what I'm saying so I was you get that one out the way then you can go and, and shit that's some old school shit right there I don't know what the fuck cat talking about on that nigga that ain't new to me that's true to me I've been doing that shit nigga you late to the motherfucking game and shit <laughs> you nigga talking like they just now getting some pussy you know what I'm saying you know I'm just saying uh, anyway, that's another motherfucking story. But I'm just saying, man. I hear a lot of niggas poking at my boy Kevin Kevin Hart. But I think the nigga's cool. I think the nigga do some good comedy and shit. But Mike Epps funny the motherfucker. Uh, and now I got a new light on TK Kirkland. I was I was mad at that nigga because he's a pimp, I guess, a, a player and a, and all that and, and all the above. And I'm just a wannabe-ass nigga trying to get, in, get on. So I had to learn from that dude. You know what I'm saying? And he taught, he's teaching me a lot because I'm still watching that V A L D, and I'm watch. I just subscribed to uh, Sway's Universal, so I can watch, watch my, uh, my uh, mentors in the game, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And try to get my material together, and maybe one day I can be one of the motherfuckers that be on stage that you'll come see to make you laugh and shit and make you piss in your pants and shit and make you want to do a motherfucking dance and shit and i'm all i just think of rapper shit my rap name is deli motherfucking d can't a motherfucker rap like me i'm just telling you something that you can see you know what i'm saying and, and that you can hear that you can you know for little uh, uh for little can validate goddamn you know what i'm saying put it like that motherfucker. you know what i'm saying but uh it is what it is you know, I don't even know if this shit was funny. Maybe it wasn't meant to be all the way funny. I'm just trying to learn how to make a video for YouTube. So when I really get my shit together, I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? So peace out with that. And with that, I'm out.
And my name is Deli D, also known in my real name. I go by uh, is, is Dale Madeiras. They call me Deli D. I don't know what my stage may, name may be, but when the time comes, you'll see. Be looking for me because here I go and I'm gone. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And that's a wrap. You know what I'm saying?